the next step in the process is doing the small open plan um, ranch house. And to do that, you have a list that you pull up from Google Classroom, and it tells you have to all the parts you have to put into a house. So we start with the original doghouse drawing, and I've already opened it up. What I'm going to do rotating it so it is actually looking from the top view, and I'm going to zoom quite a bit out, put that house, I'm going to put the house in the bottom left hand corner of the drawing. So as I rotate it, I make sure it's in the bottom left hand corner of the drawing. Um, relatively far out in the process, it's going to be easier that way. You should have the red line across the bottom, green line going up, um, away from you, and the blue line for height. So to do this, I'm going to go File, 3D Warehouse, Get Models, and I want to type in small small open plan ranch small open plan ranch and search for it now you'll see here it's called small open plan house by ch ZZY. So we're going to click on this one because it doesn't have a roof to it. It actually has an invisible roof to it to make it easy to outfit it. Uh, we're going to download it, the model. We're going to click OK. Now, if I bring this in here, it might move slow or fast. So you kind of move the mouse slowly. What you're going to do is just drop the house right behind the doghouse that we have a context of where it is on the screen or in our dimension that we're working in our workspace now you see the blue lines that came up around the house so I have to click on the pointer and then I'm gonna click outside of the blue lines out here and it gets rid of all this now I can move over the top of the house and actually there is an invisible roof here that we need to get rid of to work on the house itself. So what you're going to do is click on that pointer again and you're going to, I'm going to zoom in here, I'm going to double click like on this red piece, I'm going to double click until I get all these dots on the screen. See all these little tiny dots. Then I hit the delete key to get rid of the rough. That was the first rough. There's actually two of them. See that dotted again and delete. So once you get to the point where you actually can click in on the red square you know you've gotten rid of the false ceiling so all those roofs are gone now or should be gone now notice this is not a very pretty green on the kitchen cabinet stuff so the first thing you can do is go and change some of this to get used to changing some of the colors of things the funny thing about this drawing though this cabinet right here it's pretty particular about how to actually select it if I just selected like this right here and hit paint bucket and change I think I would want it some kind of wood color for my cabinets maybe I choose this one you notice it changed everything else around it which I don't want it to do and undo paint and I can't just hit here and it does anything at all you know what it did is change it down here I don't want that to do it um, so what I'm going to do is instead if you select this you have to kind of double click this stuff until it gets spotty and then you can click on the paint that you want there and put it on there. What happened? Hmm. Well, I actually think I undid and put the roof back on. So that's what happens if you still have the roof there. So I'm going to delete that roof. I'm going to go in and double click this cabinet until I just have, it turns the rest of the furniture green, but then you can see how it got dots on that cabinet right there. Now I can go in and put the cabinets and change them to the same color. Now that's a dishwasher, I'm not going to do the same. There's an oven, but I can go in and fix all the parts of it and you can get even into the details. I can get really down to the stove, right, and it changes to metals. So I want this metal and I want like maybe stainless steel metal panel so I can make sure that the top of it looks in metal 
change the knobs and coloring so I can get very detailed in getting stuff. It may be the grill above it. I want it in a black so I can go up to this apple color. So I'm going to choose black and I'm going to grill pieces on top of it. I turn black. Okay, so you can see the changes you can make for the cabinetry. You can spend some time doing that part. Um, if stuff goes weird like this up here, you can always change it back. See how everything else is green? Well, you could take, and after that's done, just click out and off of the image outside the house, and it just it'll flip everything else back. Don't forget on this side, if you look around, if I kind of spin this around, there is a refrigerator here to color, and there is another cabinet on this side in the kitchen. Okay, let's look at the general layout of the house. We have a garage that we're going to put, and in the drawing it tells you what you need to do. And if you look at the Word document for it, oops, I'll find it here. If you look at the document, in a small open plan house, you're going to put a car, a washer and dryer, two bedrooms, putting a bed and dresser into it. You're going to do a full bath, which is the bathtub, toilet, and sink. The half bath is just going to have a toilet and sink. You can put one picture on a wall and put an activity room, spare room, and then you're going to fill out landscaping, one tree or shrub outside. And this is in the Google Classroom, this document part. So say first we start with a car. Um, you want to always try to put in stuff from the top view, looking from above. It makes it easier on movement of things. So what I can do is for this part, since I got this in here, I would go ahead and save it. But I'm going to save as, and instead of doghouse, I'm going to save it as small house. I'm going to save that as small house. From there, um, you did the cabinetry. I'm going to show you how to um, put in the rest of the furniture in a second, in the second video. And this one, I just want to show you a couple things with it. Here's where the half bathroom is half bath. This would be, there's three bedrooms here. These are closets, by the way, this part. This is closets. This is actually the first, the full bathroom is right here. Two of these are bedrooms, and the third is an activity room. You can choose whichever you want to be the activity room. Usually people choose this one. The picture goes on the wall right here on display, and in the back usually people put a couple trees or bushes for it. Okay, so that is the general part of getting started with the small open plan house. I'll pick this up in video two.